everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for a while now, some subscribers have been asking to see inside my home, in particular where I've been and how I've been applying minimalism. So I'm really excited about making this video for you. I hope there are lots of helpful tips inside that can not only help you apply minimalism in your home, but also in your life and you can reap the benefits from that. Now to waste no time at all, behind me is my linen cupboard and it's probably the area that I am most proud of. I live in a two bedroom home. There's Rocco's bedroom and my bedroom and I only have two sets of sheets per bed. Now by having two sets of sheets it keeps nice and minimalistic but it also means the sheets get a bit of a chance to breathe while they're not being, while they're not being used or slept on. So it means they don't wear out quite as quickly but it doesn't clutter my cupboards with lots of different sets of sheets. Also, my sets of sheets are a perfect set. There's no missing or odd pillowcases. It, everything sort of matches perfectly, which helps keep it really nicely grouped together and organized inside my cupboard. I also apply the same principle with towels. I only have four sets of bath towels. Again, that means that it's really easy to change them over. Um, it means there's always a spare set ready to go and it gives them a break in between washes and, and wears. Also, you will notice I only have one beach towel. Now, I promise you I actually own more beach towels than this, but I keep it very limited. I personally find in my life that beach towels tend to completely go missing and by the end of summer they've vanished. Now, by having only a few sets of beach towels, it forces me to be a lot more aware and conscious of where those beach towels are and where they're going and make a bigger effort to make sure that they come home. But again, by having less beach towels, again, it doesn't take up too much space in my wardrobe, in my linen cupboard, and it makes it so much easier to keep it neat, tidy, and organized. Now, I've previously made you guys a video around makeup and minimalism, so I won't go into this in too much detail. But generally speaking, I'll keep my surface space really clean and clear. Everything is put away. I don't leave things out. I'm also really strict on my makeup collection. I will not replace anything until it's been completely used up or is about to be used up. And finally, one of my best tips for minimalism and I guess makeup or minimalism in the bathroom is I only have one perfume. This is my signature scent. It's by Rido um, La Tulip and it's a Swedish brand and I will link it in the description box below. But by having a signature scent, when people go to hug me like friends and family, they always make a comment that my perfume smells nice and they associate that smell um, with me, which I think is a really nice nostalgic memory to, to create for people around you. And it means that after you've left a room, people will think of you and you can make a bit of an entrance when you walk into a room because you walk on in with more presence. Okay, so the next area where I apply minimalism in my home and life is my wardrobe. I previously made you guys heaps of videos on how to build a capsule wardrobe and the key principles that I follow when it comes to creating your own style and taste and capsule wardrobe collection. But the key things is I hate a cluttered wardrobe. I want to be able to pull things back, see what I own and make sure that I wear it because if it's out of sight, it's out of your mind and that runs the risk of wasting money by buying duplicates. I also um, try and make the most of space without cluttering it by using things like hooks which are spaced out together so I can hang things like my handbags which also make it really quick and easy and efficient to grab in a hurry. And on that note of efficiency and minimalism, and this is a bit of a really funny one, I um, wear the same cut um, underwear during the week and it's either a black set or a light pink set um, and they're always a matching set now when you wear for me personally I should say when I wear a matching um, set of underwear I just feel a lot more put together um, and whilst no one else knows that I'm wearing a matching set other than myself um, it just makes me feel quite complete and when by owning either in light pink or even tan um, or, and then a matching set in black you always have a set ready to go and you can work works with wearing light colors and you won't see that you know black um, bra strap and by having them separated in two different shoe boxes which is all I've done it means getting ready in the morning is really quick and efficient and of course for people who really want to know I do have other special nice underwear which I will say for special occasions or obviously just the weekend or going out and getting dressed up but this is a great way of keeping it nicely organized and being incredibly efficient in getting dressed in the morning. Another area inside my home 
incorporating minimalism is my bedroom. My bedroom is the place where I come up at the end of a day to feel safe and restore my battery and getting a good night's sleep is incredibly important to me. I'm hypersensitive um, when it comes to sleep deprivation. So I'll show you a pan of my room but it's, um, it's pretty calm and tranquil. My bedside tables are not cluttered with stuff. Um, the bed sheets, everything is pretty much white with touches of navy blue stripes which make it feel really clean and fresh. The um, curtains are white and creams. Um, there's not too much, there's nothing really on the walls and it just has a very clean, calm, tranquil energy to the room. So this is my mini library. These are the books which remained after going through my whole entire book collection and letting go of so many books which were either given away, sold or donated. This is what has remained and I'm still working on slowly downsizing this and switching it all to um, an, you know, an e-book format where I can read it on like a Kindle application on my iPad mini. But these are the books that I've absolutely loved and I'm not ready. I love having these ones in a paper format. And as I said, this will change over time. Another great thing that I did with, a lot, with how I got rid of a lot of books was cooking books. For the, the recipes which I loved, um, I either took a photograph of the recipe and added it to um, a, an ebook format or I simply scanned the pages and saved it again onto my um, iPad mini. So my iPad mini actually holds pretty much everything that I need for in an ebook format. But this was a great way that I created so much space in my life and got rid of a lot of stuff is by keeping my um, home library very exclusive and tight. And I'm looking forward to that day where I actually have everything saved in ebook format because it's also so much better for the environment. Okay, so in the living area of my home, this is really important that it stay as clutter free and minimalistic as possible because this is where the most amount of people congregate in my home. So I want people to come into my home and relax and enjoy themselves. So that means being very strict in keeping this place, not just clutter free, but also clean and tidy. The maximum amount of decorating you'll find is like some candles or some flowers and that really helps set the scene. But you'll notice that all my surface spaces are clutter free. If there is an area that needs to hold things like just for convenience, it's collected either in a box or in an open dish where it can be grouped together neatly. But generally speaking, I try and not clutter the space with lots of bits of small pieces of furniture and decorative pieces, but keep it clean and fresh and not too much stuff on the walls either. And finally inside my kitchen where I'm probably the most strict when it comes to dump free zones and clutter free surfaces. Everything must be put away at the end of the day. That will mean that wiping down the bench tops um, is not only a lot more hygienic but it's actually quick and easy and almost enjoyable to do because it's so pleasant seeing the and feeling the energy of a clean and tidy and organized kitchen. Things are grouped together where they need to be and I also think about the efficiency in where I put things together. Pots and pans that I use on a regular basis are in quick, easy places to grab. My drawers are not cluttered and with things squished on top of each other. I don't have any duplicates of things. It's neat and tidy and only I only keep what I use. And another great example of minimalism in my home and in the kitchen is you will notice all my plates are uniform. They're, again, they're a perfect set. There are no odd or mismatched um, plates. And the great thing about that is it means that it neatly stacks up on top of each other and looks really uniform. It makes it fast and efficient to put things away and grab things you get when you're eating or serving. I've got a maximum of eight of each because eight is the maximum amount of people I can serve at my dining table. But seeing the space around it means it's really easy to keep clean and organized. And it means it's easy for other people to see what's going on. And so if someone's helping me put things away or tidy up, they can see exactly where things below belong and don't get sort of thrown into odd places or mixed up with other you know, plates or cutlery and things like that. It's just a really uniform way to go. I highly recommend it. So now hopefully you can see applying minimalistic philosophy to your home really isn't that hard. It's actually very quick and easy to apply. You've just got to be strict, learn to say no sometimes, sometimes even be a little bit ruthless and really stop and take the time to think about what you're doing. Think about the efficiency, think about the organization and the neatness and really enjoy creating that space. 
Say yes to clutter-free zones, clean, tidy, organized surfaces, and stop and enjoy the energy and the tranquility and the time that you get back from incorporating minimalism into your home. Now, if you have any videos that you'd like me to make around minimalism, please let me know by putting a comment in the comments box below. Also, please let me know what you think about this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I actually have a growing playlist all around my experience and journey with minimalism. So please feel free to dive into that and check that playlist out. And I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now and enjoy decluttering your home.